guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist, welcome to my studio. After my keynote presentation on Photoshop World 2019 East, you asked me to record a um, tutorial how I created this beautiful butterfly. So guys, let's start. I have created this simple document and um, first of all, I will create a new empty layer. I will highlight my watercolor paintbrush and in the options bar I will turn on my symmetry painting feature just like that. Using my watercolor brush with black color I will create the butterfly's head just like that, her body and her tail just like that. Guys, did you notice that I'm using only one side of my document and Photoshop mirrors everything to the other side? And I love it. Using same brush, I will create butterflies wings just like that. Now I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to my favorite watercolor paint brush. I will bring size of my brush down and using a red color, I will apply the first layer of many colors I will be working with today. <clears throat> I will switch to yellow color, very bright yellow color, and I will apply a few splashes of a beautiful yellow color. I will switch to bright blue color and I will apply a few splashes of blue color to my art, just like that. Now, I will switch to watercolor detail brush. I will bring size of my brush down. I will switch color of my brush to white and using this brush I will apply a few details to my butterfly just like this. How beautiful is it? Just like that. And a few details around her wing. Now I will bring size of my brush down and I will apply a few details to my butterfly head body and her tail. If I will bring size of my brush down and I will switch color of my brush to black, I will be able to add a few final details to my art just like this. How simple and beautiful is it? Just like this. And this is what I wanted to share with you today, guys. If you have some time and would like to dig deeper into this topic, please stay with me. So guys, let's start again. I have created this simple document. You can create your document in any size you like. Also, you can create your document um, in uh, you can apply any color to your background. Everything is up to you. I have only one layer right now. It's simple white background layer and I renamed my layer to background layer. Now I will create a new empty layer and, and I will rename this layer to number one. Just like that. I will switch. I will highlight my watercolor paint brush. Uh, we have a lot of watercolor brushes. If you are a Creative Cloud subscriber, all those brushes are free for you. Just go to the website and download all those amazing brushes. Definitely, I'm not using all these um, br uh, all brushes from watercolor folder. We have a lot of them. I spent some time and I discovered my favorite watercolor brushes and I created my folder. I named this folder my favorite watercolor brushes and in this folder I have my favorite watercolor brushes. So I um, highlighted my watercolor detail brush with black color and before I will start working on my butterfly I will turn on symmetry painting feature. In the options bar you have very beautiful butterfly icon. Just click on it and you will be able to choose any uh, symmetry painting option you like. Because I will be working on a butterfly painting today I will click on vertical just like that and I will click OK. Using my watercolor um, detail brush with black color you can see I'm bringing size of my brush down. I will create the butterfly head just like that, her body, just like that, and her tail, just like that. I will bring size of my brush down and using same brush I will create a butterfly's wing, wings. Guys, um, symmetry painting um, makes everything uh, 
easier. Um, if you noticed, I'm using only one uh, side of my document and Photoshop mirrors everything to the other side. And this is the beauty of symmetry painting. Now, I will create a new empty layer and I will rename this layer to colors. Just like that. Now, I will switch to my favorite watercolor brush. I will bring size of my brush down. I will switch to very bright red color and I will apply a first layer of many colors I will be working with today. Just like this. Now, I will switch to very bright yellow color. I love yellow color. And I will create a few splashes of yellow color. Just like that, guys. I don't need to apply any extra steps to blend my colors. Photoshop does the job and I love, love, love it. Now I will switch to blue color again, very bright blue color and I will apply a few splashes of blue color to my butterfly's wing, just like that. Now time to switch to um, um, watercolor detail brush. I will bring size of my brush down just like that. I will switch to white color and using this brush I will apply a few uh, details to my butterfly just like that. Nothing is too complicated. Just look at this. And around her wings a little bit more details just like that. If I will bring size of my brush down I will be able to add a few details to my butterfly head, body and her tail just like that. Now guys I will bring size of my brush down. I will change color of my brush to black and using this setting of my brush I will apply a few final details to my art just like that. Look at this and a few more details. Guys, I love watercolor painting and I love symmetry painting in Photoshop. I really do. And this is what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Super appreciated. If you have any time, if you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. And again, thank you so much for your time and I will see you later. Bye.